Hey, are you making nachos? Cause someone just cut the cheese. <laughs> So, Pause of Fury, Legend of Hank, or originally called Blazing Samurai, is a movie. Bye! Pause of Fury, Legend of Hank is... Hank? That's like such a name. Uh, well, um, it's one of those movies, to say the least. And it has quite a lengthy history to it, so that's why I'm bringing a friend on. He has a vast knowledge of media and film. Kind of a big brain. Like me. Me, Rig Beauty. Thanks for the introduction, Jake. Hello everyone, my name is Rig Beauty, and just as he said, this film has quite an interesting production history. If any of you don't know, this film is actually supposed to be a tribute to the 1974 Mel Brooks classic, Blazing Saddles. He's very Brooksy. Now, funny enough, a remake was talked about for years and years, but people were saying it's not even possible to remake a film with certain content in it. But that's where you're wrong. In 2010, an animated remake set in ancient Japan but with cats and dogs was announced. And you think that it would be fine, but that's where problems arose. One of its animation studios at the time called Mass Animation had had the stupidest idea to go and go and hire independent animators so they can take a scene, animate it, and send it to them. Which they would get a special award if they do it, but it turned out to be an absolute scam. Yeah, not really good if you're scamming independent animators. Alright, get up. So they were kicked out, but the show must go. The show must go on. So in 2014, the film was announced to come out in August of 2017. It was released July 2022. So what happened with all that time? Well, that's when more problem arose. So in 2016, workers reported that they were heading over to their their animation studio, Arc Productions, and they were completely locked out without being known that the studio shut down. So, a lot of people were laid off, and they had to go and find new studios. Of course, that would ultimately lead to a delay. It would, it would be even more worse when 2018, its original distributors, Open Road Films, actually fired, filed for bankruptcy, and dropping the film entirely, along with a bunch of other animated films, including the ugh, Arctic Dogs. Oh, we will talk about that. <sighs> but on the bright side, people didn't think that it would ever see the light of day, and the only proof of its existence was through concept art. Okay, that's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> but luckily, in 2019, Paramount Pictures announced that they picked up their rights and would distribute it under the Nickelodeon Movies banner. Unless if you're living in other countries, Sky Cinemas would release it in the United Kingdom, and Hyatt Brothers over in China. Speaking of which, did you know that one of its animation studios, H.B. Wink, is actually responsible for the direct-to-DVD sequel, Rock Dog, Rock Dog 2? Yep, I'm not kidding. Look at their filmography. But, anyway, back to you, Jake. He's a four, but he's a samurai. <laughs> He's a ten. Here's the best way to describe this movie's plot. So one day, Michael Sarah arose from the earth. He then went god mode. He traveled the lands far and wide until he came across... Yeah, 
well, stuff happened, okay? You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Let's just use PNG cutouts of them. I'm Michael Sarah. I want to be a samurai. I'm Samuel Jackson, the greatest samurai of all time. You will train and become the best samurai ever. Hi, y'all. You will make a hank in dollars. Man, you suck. You know, he's very close to me. That's the truth. And Mel Brooks isn't here, too. There's no business like Shogun business. There's also a gang. I don't know why. And this movie goes on and on with the jokes. It just gets so stale. Where did we get our old samurai? Samurais are us? I was non-stop cringing throughout the whole film. Don't even get me started on the advertising for this film. It. Take my horse. Heck, it was even on billboards. I even spotted one myself. I honestly think all the effort went to the marketing. Okay, I don't know if this is a coincidence, but this is Hank. This is Ozzy. I think we have an imposter. I need to make a call. Okay, there's this one scene that's actually pretty brilliant. And of course, it's the one with Mel Brooks in it. I have Pikachu uh, online good. too. Good, very good. Yes, yes. Pikachu, how's it going? Pikachu, how's it going? Pikachu, how's it going? Pikachu, how's it going? Pikachu, Pikachu, how's it going? It's Pikachu, my divine fabulousness. Now that was a big brain moment. How did this movie not make a Hank Alien dollars at the box office? Why don't we ask him? What do you think of this movie, good sir? No. This movie tried so hard to be the next big animated film, but it's kind of cool that they were able to save a cancelled project like this. That's one good thing at least. I give it at the most a 6 out of 10. The visuals aren't nothing to write home about. It definitely feels like one of the mid-2010s animated films. That's because it originally was supposed to be. This movie isn't the greatest. But if you want to watch it, watch it. Go for it. It's sad that this movie could have been so much more, but... Oh well. At least I got to make a video about it with Rigby Odie. said you could make me a samurai. I can make you a pizza. The cringe. Oh, the cringe. <laughs>